bat schools and non-binary beasts. Sorry about the lighting, as always, and my voice. I'm still recovering from a sinus infection slash cold, but I got some people! Also some cocoa pink. So I have been trading people like mad in the Black Phoenix Facebook group. And so I, uh, I feel really bad because I know that most people need money more than they need more perfume, but I'm so, so broke. So, you know, in light of not having any other Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab related content, I thought that I would open up this recent swap on camera. I feel really bad because I didn't um, open up my Streets of Detroit swap on camera and it was packaged so beautifully, but I literally like, I was sitting in the car and I was like, I, I, ah, and I just tore into it and I felt really, really bad. So you know who you are. And if you're watching this video, I am so sorry that I didn't get any of your packaging on film because it was gorgeous. All right. So I'm going to cut this open. And other than the Dia de los Muertos atmosphere spray, I don't know what's in here. Uh, Dia de los Muertos is one of my favorite scents. It's my anxiety scent. I don't know why it's so soothing to me, but it is. I can't actually handle lavender, so it's like lavender adjacent enough that it's really good. Here is the package. This looks really professionally packaged. I'm pretty pleased. And they sent me some pipettes, which I'm really excited about, so I could decant Dia de los Muertos into a smaller container, so I can just like put this in my purse or whatever if I'm like traveling. Have some some of that with me. Here are some lovely freebies that I believe they included. Ooh. So we have got a Miris. I don't know anything about this. And we also have Shale, which I actually think I just bought or was considered considered buying. I um went on a little bit of a shopping spree last night because I'm really, really upset about John Hurt's passing and I wanted to buy a kit and I figured if I'm buying kit, I might as well buy a couple other scents. So we've got some new, uh, some decants from a new company called Sunsets and Seas. And then we've got the scent Haunted Hayride the last harvest hiking season. So I'm really excited to give these a sniff. They seem fall themed. Now, of course, I do have a little bit of uh, congestion and stuff, so my sniffer probably isn't going to be the best. And as always, these first impression haul kind of deals are not reviews at all <laughs> whatsoever. So don't base your, your uh, purchasing decisions on anything I'm about to say. All right. We will start off with the Beepal and give Shale a sniff. I, I literally was looking at this last night. I don't, I don't remember anything in it because, you know, when you're browsing at four o'clock in the morning, you don't tend to remember everything you saw. This actually smells a lot like Bestiaire du Moyen Age. So I wonder maybe if it has some similar notes. Funny enough, I swapped Bestiaire for all of this. Ugh, bless everyone who's open to swapping. So it's a little bit watery, a little bit green, but not in an aquatic sense. It smells more like a creek versus an ocean. Whenever everyone, anyone talks about aquatics, I always think ocean instead of other bodies of water. All right, next is Hymerius. Or Hymerus. Hymerus. And smells like mint and patchouli. I can breathe out of this nostril, but I can't smell anything. <laughs> Maybe some juniper. Has a little bit of that uh, cat piss juniper note. And don't get me wrong, juniper is one of my favorite notes. But it does smell a little bit like cat pee when wet. So next we're going to try the Last Harvest. Ah, it smells like 
apple pie, but not like, not very spice heavy apple pie. Yeah, that smells like apple pie. I do find that a lot of pie scents with or like apple scents have too much cinnamon in them for my taste. And don't get me wrong, I love cinnamon, but not with sweet for some reason. Like, I don't even really like uh, oatmeal cookies when they have cinnamon in them. Cinnamon just does something to sweet that I just let, don't like. The next one is uh, Hiking Season. It smells like a Ponderosa Pine. You know how they kind of smell like woody and butterscotchy? That's what this smells like. Nice. I'm really excited to check out this company. I love, 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 love when people uh, expose me to new companies. Because I, I... I'm not really good at finding stuff on my own. Next is Haunted Hayride. It almost... Oh, that's... I'm really, really liking these. They have a good balance between the sort of natural background and a little bit of sweetness. I bet that this is hay and like a wooden wagon and apple cider because there's sort of a, a hay note, but not the greasy hay note that Bee Paul has. Pretty on point. I'm impressed with this company so far. Obviously, we'll have to see what my skin does to them. But yeah. All right, and we'll just do a quick sniff of Dia de los Muertos. Like I said, I'm very familiar with it, and I love it. And it looks like it's arrived safely, which is awesome. I love when things arrive safely. Nothing's more disappointing than when you open up a package and it's leaked, and you're like, ah, ah. And I feel bad for the person that sent it. Oh, so good. I do wish that the label was the uh, Dio de los Muertos uh, 15 label because it has like a skeleton, a winged skeleton on a bicycle. I just, I, I love it. I love that picture so much. Ah, so she sent me nice big container of Coco Pink's lotion. This is the Coco Mango Body Butter. I think this one is a little bit lighter than the Voluptuous in texture, but this is the Egyptian Musk scent. And unfortunately, it doesn't really smell like anything. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of it. <laughs> it's probably... <laughs> it's so awful trying to do this with only like the tiniest hint of a scent going on. I couldn't smell anything for like a week. It was stressful, but it was also kind of nice because my really sensitive nose and I could smell everything. And let me tell you, everything smells terrible. <laughs> this is ends with benefits and in the scent breakfast on the beach. I'm really excited to try this. It sounds like something that I normally wouldn't buy because Cocoa Pink has so many scents, but I do really enjoy very foody scents. Oh, it smells like waffles. Chocolate and maple syrup. Oh, crap. That's... Boy, howdy. When Cocoa Pink does foody scents, they really, really knock it out of the park. It's incredible. I like this texture. It feels like it's it feels a little bit like it's diluted with maybe an alcohol or a water, so it's not going to weigh down my hair. I have really, really feisty hair that does not really appreciate what oils and stuff. Like, I'm one of the few people that cannot, like, my hair just does not accept coconut oil at all whatsoever. But this feels like... It feels pretty nice. Last but not least is a linen spray. I really like Coco Pink's linen sprays. I like linen sprays in general, but this is in the scent Angelica. I was a little concerned because uh, the lady who sent it to me was like, it's a really nice vanilla scent, and I don't really love vanilla scents, but we'll see if the other notes come out. 
and they do. It has a nice sort of industrial undertone to it. it smells like uh, industrial lubricants. And I know that sounds really weird and unpleasant, but I actually really enjoy stuff like that. You know, which should surprise no one that knows me because Streets of Detroit is my all-time favorite scent of ever. Yeah, that's really, 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 really good. Oh, I'm super excited. So that is my bee Paul haul.